Hey guys, what's up? Today we are going to design a overhead tank called uh, OST and uh, ESR in Stat Pro. So first of all, we are we will op open the Stat Pro. Okay, new project space name the project whatever you want. I will name this OST four. Okay, select metan and clonator. Next. Add beam and a finish. Okay, wait some time. Yeah, it's open. Close it. Click on geometry. Run structural wizard. Okay, trust select surface plate models. Okay, we will design from top to bottom. Okay, so firstly. I will draw top dome okay so spiral button consider top dome that is 7.5 meter okay base diameter is 5 meter and division will be 20 okay apply fine so take this to a screen yes okay see Come now, select any two nodes. Top dome is completed. Now we will draw side wall. Okay, so select two nodes. Firstly, select node cursor, node cursor, select two nodes. Okay, control C and then control V. I have already told you I will design from top to bottom means y side negative direction so height of wall will be 2 meters so it will become minus 2 okay because we are going to from top to bottom okay see two nodes are coming here from 2 meter of heights okay select Add four node plates. Okay, select this one, two, three, four. Okay, here the plates, then select plate cursor, select this plate. Okay, then circular repeats. Click on this circular repeats. Okay, y direction number of step 20. Right. Okay. See. Fine. Top dome side wall completed. Okay. Now we will design bottom dome and cone wall. For bottom dome, we will design bottom dome ring beam. Okay. So again, click on geometry, run structural wizard. Sorry. Frame models. Okay. Click on circular beam okay radius will be beam of radius of beam will be let's assume is mm, two meters okay number of ways 20 okay apply see this is the beam okay Let's assume the height of cone wall is 1 meter. So minus 1 will be here. Because minus sign is because there we are going from top to bottom. Okay. See. Right. Again select this. Add 4 node plates. Okay. Select any 4 nodes. 1, 2, 3 and a 4. Fine. And go and select the plate cursor. Select this plate. Okay. Again go to circular repeat. Y direction. Step will be 20. Fine. Okay. Fine. Let's have a clear view. I will show you in 3D. See. This is our top dome. Side wall. And cone wall. Okay. 
टॉप डाउन साइड वाल एंड कोन वाल राइट लेट्स हियर फ्रॉम फॉर बॉटम डोम क्लिक दिस एंड कम्स इन लास्ट ओके फॉर दिस क्रिएट क्रिएट अ नो डाटा जीरो पॉइंट फाइव राइट माइनस ऑलवेज रिजेम्बर बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टॉप टू बॉटम सो देर इज माइनस माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव see notes come a notes come here okay it's not in center right so let's assume there minus 7.5 okay now it's in center okay now add plate geometry add plate ट्राइंगुलर प्लेट ओके जियोमेट्री एड प्लेट ट्राइंगुलर प्लेट ओके सिलेक्ट दिस थ्री नोट वन टू एंड थ्री ओके नाउ सिलेक्ट प्लेट कर सर सिलेक्ट दिस प्लेट वाइज फ्रॉम दिस सिलेक्ट दिस प्लेट एंड अनसिलेक्ट ऑल दिस कोन वाल प्लेट ओके एंड अगेन गो सर्कुलर पिच वाइ डायरेक्शन स्टेप बिल बी ट्वेंटी ओके सी आई विल शो यू इन थ्री डी ऑल्सो लाइक सी सी बॉटम डोम कूनिकल वाल साइड वाल एंड दिस इज टॉप डोम ओके ना रिमेम्बर इज कॉलम राइट गो स्लेक् नोट Select this node, okay. Transitional repeat, y direction. Let's see, we have a uh, st staging height seven point five meter, okay. Step is three, and uh, each bracing is two point five. Done. Okay? Sorry, minus two point five. Always remember, we are going and. Uh, we are going from top to bottom that's why we are putting here minus okay so link this step minus 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 okay see and select this also sorry this select this column go circular repeat y direction H per hour IS specification. We should have minimum six column. Okay, so we are going to have six column. Okay, link step. Okay, open base. Okay, okay. See, fine. Once again, I will show you in three D. See, fine. Now we are going to assign these prop property. Okay. Click on journal. First, we will create support for base. We will create fix support. Okay, add fix support. Go on front view. This front view. Okay, select all bottom nodes assigned to selected nodes. Support. Select these all bottom nodes and assign to selected node. Assign. Confirm. There. And now we will go property. we will define property we will assume column size of 450 mm diameter of circular size of column okay add fine and uh, brace size is rectangular 300 by 500 okay add and thickness plate thickness for si for side wall bottom room top room thickness shall be Consider let's ten red mm. Okay. Add close. First we will assign in column. Okay. Select this column by pressing control and now select this all six columns. Okay. Circular column. 
assigned to select it. Okay, a column. Now rectangular select this beam. Okay, assign. Select the plate thickness. Select the plate cursor. Select all the plates. Means side wall, bottom dome, top dome. Assign. Fine. Now see in three D. See. Okay. Okay, this is in 2D, this is in 3D. You can see clearly this is column, this is our bracing, this is bottom ring beam, cone wall, side wall, top dome, and this is our bottom dome. Okay, fine. I think this is view is much better. <laughs> yeah, now assign some loads. Okay, loads and definitor load case add. Add the dead load, okay. Add close dead load. Add the dead load, okay. Add close dead load case. Add first self load. Add fine. Done. Then go on plate loads. Hydrostatic load. Fine. <coughs> Select the plates this select the plate cursor first okay then assume that assume let's just think that hydrostatic load only will be bottom down side wall and cone wall not in top down okay so we will just select only bottom down conical wall and side wall okay we will not select top dome because there is no hydrostatic load there is no water at top dome water content will be only bottom dome side wall and cone wall that's why we will we have select this all only only on these nodes done we have height of wall is 2 meter and uh, unit load of uh, water is 10 then 10 into 220 and take some safety factor let's take 25 kN per meter so axis will be by local will be z add ok close we have already assigned self load we have already assigned the self load ok see, the, see this load we have assigned hydrostatic load Okay. See this hydrostatic load. Fine. Okay, guys. Let's. Uh, we have already assigned the load and property. Okay. Check the loads. Load case. Load case one. These are the hydrostatic loads. Okay. Now we will design. Okay. Go on design. Check. Select our code. Our code is IS eight hundred. Okay. Then, then assign to view our code. Define parameters like a beam. Okay. Add close command. Check code. Add. Okay. Code ko check karne ke liye command add kiya. Then beam assign to view assign assign check code assign to view check code assign to view assign again check code assign to view assign okay now we are going to design this is structure our as per our is code okay go and analysis add close analyze run analyze see let's see what's going on 
yeah see zero error zero warning and zero note okay means our structure is safe and we have designed this this structure successfully okay you can see the output file done see this is state output okay all pass 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 this is our state output okay state pro code checking is 8001984 okay click on any our section property that's column dia okay design property steel drift design okay is code 5 okay so guys we have completed design overhead tank in state pro if you have any query you can freely ask okay thank you